welcome to the review on this precious Monday money. And uh, he that uh, the cook is a great chef in Lagos, and people has been going to eat free food <laughs> because the lady said she wants to break the Guinness Book of Record held by uh, a lady in Indian, you know, who created that record uh, over five years ago. She wants to break that record. Blanche is only 25 years old. The mother is also a chef. And um, people are, you know, trooping in to, you know, to stand with her. Oh, no, no, no. When I watched it yesterday, it was so, 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 so beautiful sight, you know. And uh, the governor of Lagos State was there, you know, to pay homage and also encourage her in order to finish the stacks, you know. And again, you know, Peter will be, you know, that one only take last at all. He also, you know, sent his message and I believe he will be there anyway. So, off from that uh, entertainment, or will I say, uh, a record-breaking feat by a Nigerian, um, she has already gone for over, she has already broken the record anyway, because uh, as of now that you are watching this video, she might have surpassed the previous holder, which was uh, 87, uh, 87 hours of uh, non-stop cooking. And now, I'll bring details about that in our next episode. Anyway, let's go back to other news. Um, Kuti, we know Kuti from the Kuti family. She was, he was seen, you know, slapping uh, a police officer uh, in Lagos over the weekend. And um, watching that video, I discovered that uh, it seems the police officer bashed his vehicle. And he came out, out of annoyance and was slapping him and all of that. This was exactly what uh, Peter B has been talking about. You know, the same family Kuti once said that he, Mr. Peter Obe, is uh, a, a bigard. Now, let's take a look at what is going on in Lagos. You know, what would have led him to slap the police officer? No, he fully well, he could have bashed your car. Your car would have worth maybe a half a billion, and so what? I don't think you need to do that. But when you look at it the other way around, you discover that in Nigeria here, you know the police brutality we talk about everybody seems to see police as an as an enemy so whenever they see any opportunity to retaliate they go that way you get that is not supposed to be and that is what we are facing already in nigeria and in the other news buhari is leaving this uh office comes may 29 and the president elect traveled abroad, according to his people, to speak with investors. You know, when you're talking about investments into a nation or into a company, into something, you just need to put some certain apparatus, put some things in order, and those that we invest will come into play. But in this case, our beloved president elect is in France, you know, to discuss with investors. To prepare and plan for the inauguration i don't understand <laughs> you are preparing and planning for inauguration and you still return back to nigeria to prepare and plan for the inauguration you know there's a lot of uh um a lot of you know anyhow kind of a thing in this apc administration and which is very very too bad for a nation like nigeria that is all i have for you today on the, the review of politics on the wheel i'll be discussing more on the issues surrounding the presidential petition you know at the tribunal by peter obi of labor party against apc bolame tinibu and einek until then i remain jerry <laughs>